have designed a typical safety circuit diagram. Pills, peanuts, X-ray is used for safety interruption of industrial machines. It monitors e-stops, safety switches, and redundancy of contacts. I have used 24 volt DC to feed the safety relay. Therefore, the positive voltage is fed through the B1, and the zero voltage is fed through the B2 terminal of the relay. If we decide to use AC voltage, then it's A1 for the phase and A2 for the neutral. So and once we have powered that we have powered the relay, once we have fed voltage, a light will come on the relay. One of the three lights will come on. The major features of the PNOS X3 are the three safety contacts, which are normally open contacts. They are positive guided relay outputs, 13, 14, 23, 24, 33, 34. This is where we feed voltage to the coil of the contactor that needs to be interrupted. So in our diagram, we have used 13 and 14 contact of the peers relay to feed our mains contactor A1. So once the mains contactor, which is receiving power to its coil through A1 and through the relay, once the once it is once 13, 13 14 of the peers relay is interrupted, the monitored machines will be stopped. There is also one auxiliary contact, normally closed contact, which is 4142. I've used it to indicate when safety system is breached. There's a red light which is feeding. Red light receives voltage through the normally closed contact of the relay. So when it's stripped, the red light will come on. This feature will help for troubleshooting. There are also different connection options for e-stops and push buttons and safety gates and switches and reset. There is a single channel operation, which is the most basic setup. But the PNOS X3 will allow dual channel operation. So for, there are two lights, channel one and channel two. PNOS X3 will detect shots across contacts. We detect short circuits in the input circuit, and it will also detect head faults in the circuit. The terminals that can be used to set up the E stop and the safety switches are S21, S20, S22, S31, S32. For the reset, the diagram for the reset, uh, it is the terminals S33 and S34. For this diagram, which we have, which I have designed here, this diagram is suitable for most industrial machines. The e stop and the safety gate switches are connected in series and then linked to the PIOS relay through terminal S21. S22 and S31, S32. Once they are, once any of the normally closed contact connected in series is interrupted, the associated machines will stop. For the reset, there is automatic reset and also monitored reset. We have used the monitor reset system here. For the monitor's reset, you will need a push button with a normally closed contact. This push button is, the contacts of this push button will be connected to terminals S33 and S34 of the PO safety relay. So 
So if you do not want to be able, to, if you do not want to push any button to reset the system, then you can connect a wire to bridge S13 and S14. This is for automatic reset option.